Joe Johnson must be the first minister to resign to spend less time with his family. Blood might be thicker than water, but nothing's more tribal than Brexit. <laughs> Having applauded his brother becoming Prime Minister, today he announced he's no longer behind him. When you're planning to resign... I haven't got any further comment to say other than it's been an honour to be MP for Orpington and a minister under three governments, but it's time to move on and I've got to get to work. Wrecking the party, Mr Johnson. Sorry, I beg your pardon. The Prime Minister was given barely any notice that his brother was getting on his bike. Earlier, Joe Johnson tweeted, In recent weeks I've been torn between family loyalty and the national interest. It's an unresolvable tension and time for others to take on my roles as MP and Minister. Hashtag over and out. Elections rarely run smoothly for any leader. It's easy to forget he hasn't actually managed to call one as he visited police in Wakefield today. Everybody. A wall of officers almost appeared to guard his press conference. But even this lineup was no protection from the row with his sibling. If your own brother has lost faith in your plan, surely you'll have to be the next member of the Johnson family to resign. Well, uh, my intention as I said just now, and I'm absolutely uh, determined to do this, is to de deliver on the mandate of the people. The, we have a democracy in this country. Joe doesn't agree with me about the European Union because it's, a, it's an issue that obviously d divides uh, families and divides everybody. But I think what Joe would agree is that we need to get on and sort this thing out. So no change in policy, no delay to Brexit. He's not just prepared to lose his brother, but even his own life. Can you make a promise today to the British public that you will not go back to Brussels and ask for another delay to Brexit? Yes. And sorry. I can. And would you I'd rather? rather be, I'd rather be dead in a ditch. If it all seemed too much for some, you're right. Well, these officers oh, had been right. standing so for an hour. The prime minister later offered a little comfort, but no sign of any for him. The motion has not obtained the majority required. Last night, MPs voted to block his one way out of this, refusing an election until their bill preventing a no-deal Brexit has passed. No one can trust this man, not even his own party can trust him. So what we're saying is we will block the no-deal Brexit, protect the economy, protect jobs and living standards, and yes, we'll have that general election, but we'll have it at a date which maximises our defence against his proposal for a no-deal Brexit. But whatever the date, an election is almost certainly coming and towns like Wakefield will be a key battleground, a Labour marginal but with a big Brexit vote. A visit here today has probably long been part of Boris Johnson's plan, at least whatever's left of it. I've already made some comments, thank you very much. The question being asked tonight, if Boris Johnson's own brother can't trust him, then why should the country? Paul Brand, News at 10, Wakefield.